sea ice, as in the Arctic, consists of salt water on the surface of the ocean which has been frozen. When temperatures rise in summer, it melts or partially melts before refreezing the following winter. Just like an ice block melting in a glass of water, the melting of sea ice does not raise sea level, but the reduction of sea ice does amplify the heating of the oceans, as the darker water absorbs more sunlight than the more reflective ice, an effect known as albedo. Land ice, such as glaciers, ice caps and ice sheets, which are immense glaciers, consists of fresh water from precipitation, sometimes kilometres thick. These glacial ice formations flow towards the sea, pushed by the weight of their ice. They can extend into the ocean, forming ice shelves. There are two ice sheets on Earth, in Antarctica and Greenland, with the smaller ice caps found elsewhere, such as Iceland. Due to the effect of heat, these ice shelves become thinner until they break off and become icebergs, a process known as carving. In this case of glacial ice, water is transferred from the land to the oceans, which does raise sea level. Ice shelves can also act to retain the ice sheet or glacier and slow its movement. If the shelves are sufficiently weakened, the movement of the ice sheet will increase, releasing even more fresh water into the oceans. According to the scientific group known as the IPCC, just the melting of the Antarctic ice sheet would raise sea levels by 10 to 30 centimetres by the end of the century.